Let's do this for us. Uh, but feel free to spread the word. You can just share it on Facebook. Kids to make sure that they can access. Start. We love back to school night. Parents, thank you for coming. We're thrilled that you're engaged with our community tonight, but don't let tonight be the only time. Come on back. Parents are here on campus, visiting with their teachers, learning what happens here. What you see up here are kids, um, they're doing an engineering project. Um, I'll be bringing these to them regularly um, to the class where they are going to be given parameters. So they're going to have to have constraints. In an independent reading, you should have gotten the sheet that um, you had signed and it said students have to read two hours and they should have an independent reading book. We go to the library um, once a quarter and then they are reading with a reading buddy right now to help them keep um, each other accountable and so they can discuss the books. We'll be working on that kind of loop, using their notes to help them study, uh, taking notes, having discussions in small groups, um, analyzing the material together, and then just trying to refine that, uh, kind of like the layers of an onion. We're going to add more layers to that. There are other and games that we will mix in. I, I've got a money game called Drop and Dimes where I, I just have some change and I drop it and I shout out an amount of money that we're looking for and the kids scramble to, to add up that amount of money and the first one that gets it gets to keep that amount of money. That's a popular one. They have the website there, the parent guide. If you go, for instance, right now we're in chapter one and we're working on proportional relationships. So you can click on that with your student. It gives a couple examples, kind of give you the methods that we're working with in the Common Core Ideas, CPM. Okay, so it gives you a chance to see what we're looking for. And then there's some practice problems that you can work with through your kids or yourself or whatever you want. This is it all year. Everything goes in the notebook. And if they don't have homework, they keep it back there. If, if they have work, they take it with them. But eventually, at the end of the year, the entire notebook is filled with everything that we cover throughout the year. Uh, in a school loop, no pongo las calificaciones de letra A, B, C, D, F, pero si sí pongo los cada trabajo o tarea que tenemos en la clase. Se puede ver la calificación que recibió el estudiante. Y uh, we do have conversations, we have little activities on, on colleges, kind of just getting to know what college is like, what is college, why do we go to college, what purpose does it serve. So we do have those conversations, we do some activities with that. Uh, I talk a little bit about my experiences uh, at college. A lot of stuff on school loop. So if you're going on school loop, there are grades are posted. It won't tell them if they have an A, B, C, or B, or an F. It will though tell every single assignment and how much they've gotten on those. Uh, my audience on school loop is you. Okay, the students already know usually what's going on. It's the parents who need the information. And so if your child is at home and you say, I don't know how to do this assignment, you can always go on school loop, find a folder, log on to it. I probably got the instructions. I probably got an example in that it can follow. Or I like to do physics in the fall because it's very hands-on. Um, it's uh, great for learning how to design experiments. Um, after that, we'll go to astronomy in the winter, and then in the spring, we'll do chemistry, which is more abstract. And I think it, they're I'm more ready for it by then. And if I have time, and I can squeeze it in. I also try to do a little independent living type stuff with them, you know, finances and how to balance a checkbook and that sort of thing. They all just think they're going to live on gift cards for the rest of their life. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep telling them, someone actually paid for that gift card <laughs> at some point, so we need to kind of talk about how that happened, right? Mm -hmm. It's been brilliant. I've really, really enjoyed it. And if I'm having a hard time learning your kids' names, because they're so nice. That uh, this is a great group of kids, and I'm having a lot of fun getting to know them. Last week I ran a 13-minute mile. All I need to do is get a 12:58. It grew by two seconds, and I'm at that eight. And it's really seemed to motivate the kids a lot more to give an effort. And I, I told the kids, I said, I realize not everybody enjoys running. I was someone who couldn't stand it when I was a kid. I loved running sports, but got a little bored of running on the tracks. So I tried to do whatever I could.